So we're going to be celebrating our 40th anniversary this coming Friday, May 3rd, at the Backyard Waco, Texas. And there's lots of people to thank here that I want to thank for 40 years uh, that goes on and on, including A, the customers that have helped us maintain our statue here in Central Texas, and also the people that just stuck with me through the thick and thin that, you know, believed in us, and uh, from bankers to musicians to family. Uh, and friends. And we began in 1984 as a consignment center. Ironically, we kind of ended up as a consignment center, but um, we went on to fill the gap in between the original Holsey music and Ray Henning's Heart of Texas music, which I managed for approximately three years until Ray wanted me to move to Austin. And so I went down and helped out a little bit and Ray goes, hey, we want you in Austin. I go, yeah, Ray, I don't think Austin's really for me. And he goes, well, are you telling me you're quitting? I go, no, I'm the manager of Waco. Are you telling me I'm fired? And he goes, no, no, no. So this little game went on for about a month. Finally, they let me go because he was getting his brother back in to manage. And inadvertently, Lone Star Music was spawned off of that, not intentionally, just by life's direction, so to speak. It kind of just happened, but I actually was in playing music in my band and I put a sound company together. And then Charlie Pack allowed me to store my stuff at Mockingbird Studios. And then I started paying Charlie a percentage of my sales once things kind of just started catapulting into what they did. And then I was paying Charlie's whole rent for his whole building. And I decided we might as well get ours. And that's how Lone Star Music started. I guess you could say it really started with this guitar right here that my mom purchased for me walking across the street with her. I was nine years old and she bought it for $25. Her and my dad, my dad didn't really want me to have it, but she said, no, we're going to get that boy a guitar. So thank you, mom. Thank you, dad too. But this guitar, is really why I'm here. When you step back and look at the big picture, if it wasn't for this guitar, it would have never led into Waco, uh, Lone Star Music, uh, meeting my 48 year friend, Ted Nugent, and becoming a friend with the whole Nugent family, and now doing stuff with Ted and all different forms and facets of rock and roll, hunting, etc. But this guitar is really why I'm here. So, but yeah, we're going to be there this Friday, and it'll start out with Jared Poole, David Matthew Doran on an acoustic set, kind of what this represents. And then my band comes on at 7 o'clock, and we do our rock and roll stuff, maybe throw in an original tune or two. And then a new band called American Married, a bunch of young guys that love the same style of music I've loved for all my life. And then we have our dear old Uncle Ted coming on rip roaring ready fit to be tied uh, after they play followed up by the fantastic eagles tribute band called one of these nights with all the guys and girls in that band all good friends of mine so yeah everybody come out this friday night may 3rd tickets advance for 30 40 day of show we hope to see y'all there